Praise the Lord, saints. Brother Mike, man of God. Just want to thank all of y'all for subscribing. Um, a lot of people don't know that we've been going live, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday is because it's not going to videos. So I have been going live, but it's not going to video. So if you go to my channel, if you go to Evangelist Michael Thomas and you just hit video, it's going to say that I haven't made a video in months or probably even a year, but you have to hit live. When you go to my channel, you have to hit live to hear all of our sermons. Okay. We have been making videos. YouTube used to make it where it's on the videos, but now it's just they're making live streams under the live button. So um, <clears throat> I want to apologize to everybody that may have thought that I wasn't ministering anymore because I still am on the well for the Lord. I still am on fire for Christ. I still love the Lord with all my heart, mind, soul and strength. And I want to thank all of the saints of the living God for um, praying with us every week. We pray every Tuesday and Friday. Um, we fellowship Thursdays and Sundays. And I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. Um, it's been a long journey, but God is good. Um, we will continue to lead people to the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the only way to heaven. He's the only way that your soul will live forever. It's only through Jesus Christ and it's only through his blood sacrifice. Any other way, you're a robber and a thief. There's no other God but the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There's no God but God the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And those three are one. There's one God that he has manifested itself into three persons. All right? If somebody come telling you another gospel, that is a curse. There's not another gospel. Christ died for our sins. He was buried and God raised him on the third day. And I want to tell you guys that, yes, this is the beginning of January. Today is January 5th, by the way. And we will be going live tonight. But I wanted to leave y'all with an encouraging video that just because it's January 5th, that doesn't mean that we're going to see the whole year, saints. We have to prepare ourselves to be able to leave at any day. At any hour. The Bible says, you don't know the day nor the hour which the Son of Man coming. We don't know. We eat dinner. We go to work. We do all of these things. We labor for the Lord. Those that have nine to five jobs and those that's in the ministry, we laboring for the Lord. But we don't know when the Lord is going to come. And it's scary if you do not be if you're not looking for the Lord. Look for him every day. Tell people you love them and to let them know about Jesus Christ. Because one day the Lord is going to come and it, it can't be further down the line. It cannot be a long time from now because we see the emergence of the beast system. We see this world is going downhill. We see the movement of men lovers of men women lovers of women we see wars and rumors of wars we're seeing pestilence we're seeing the love of many is waxing cold we're seeing all of these things right before our eyes these are all the signs that Jesus talked about that was the end but we know that he's going to rescue us before the end So I want to encourage you, saints, keep looking for the Lord, keep living for the Lord. Don't give up. You may see friends fall off the wall. You may see family members that won't go to church anymore and don't want to read the Bible anymore and don't want to get close to the Lord. But it's not for us to follow in those paths. It's for us to stay in the word of God. It's for us to stay with a relationship with God. It's for us to can remain watchful. We cannot be like all the other people. That There's so many people in this world that's not looking for Jesus Christ. There's so many people in the world that don't even think that Jesus Christ is coming soon.
but they're very, very wrong. Even the weather, it was just so cold a little while ago. It was it, the temperatures, many people was killed. And now you can wear a, 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 shirt, a shirt outside. The weather is even different. Brothers and sisters in Christ, love God like, like there's no tomorrow. Lay hold of eternal life, the Bible says. Tell someone you love them. Tell, pray for people. There's an urgency in my heart and there's been an urgency and there should be an urgency in the body of Christ that the Lord is coming. Something is about to happen, saints. So please be prayed up because as a Christian, we don't know if death's going to come. We don't know if the rapture is going to come. Brothers and sisters, there's many ways to leave this world, but the point is God wants you to be ready when you leave here. We thank the Lord each, each and every year that he blesses us every year. He blesses us with a new year. But it's not guaranteed that we're going to see a whole year. So you thank God each and every day for waking you up in the morning. Thank him for providing for you. You thank him for all that he's done. Because he's a good God. Monday through Sunday. 365 days a year from eternity, from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God, the Bible says. He's God. He's perfect. He doesn't make mistakes. Everything he do is perfect. His way, All his ways are perfect. And that is our Heavenly Father, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord. And we thank him each and every day. And I thank him for y'all. I thank him for the family that I have in Christ with y'all. I thank him for the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that he has blessed me with and have blessed all of us with. It's a blessing just to wake up in the morning and say, thank you, Jesus. It's a blessing every day to, to, to thank him for all that he's done for us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let him know that you love him. Get in good habits. Force yourself to read the word. I know it's billions of apps, billions of movies, and there's so much to be distracted for in these last days. But make time for the Lord. These TV shows and these, these apps and these games and all of this stuff, can't none of it welcome you in heaven if you was to die today or die tomorrow can nobody help you but one man who was the god man jesus christ our lord he's the only one that can help you so we have to we have to force ourselves to pray we have to force ourselves to make room for the living god make time for the lord amen and once again I want to apologize to anybody that thought that I wasn't making videos. I have been making videos. They're not going under the video icon anymore. They are under live. You have to hit live in order to hear what the Lord is saying through this ministry. <clears throat> this video will be under videos, but I'm leaving this video so y'all would know that we go live four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and Sunday we are live but you have to hit the live icon okay where it says live on my channel I haven't make I haven't been making too many videos because the Lord have been leading me to to teach and to preach his word in these final moments but but it very you know uh, sometimes the Lord does put it on my on my heart to make a video like this one. He prompted my heart and said, make a video. I'm sitting out here and I'm waiting for my wife to come. And I just felt compelled to, to just tell y'all that God loves you. 
He cares for you. And did nobody tell you that they love you today? I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. And I want to tell you that I love you. And you do have a friend in Christ. Amen. No greater love than this before that a man lay down his life for his friend. And Christ laid down his life for us. You can't find another God or another so-called God in the history of the world that did what Jesus did, who was the true God. First John 5, 20 says, Jesus Christ, the true God in eternal life. No, you can't find nowhere else in the history of the world that somebody came down here and laid down their life who did no sin, who knew no sin, yet was without sin, the Bible says. You won't find another one but Jesus. You won't find another one. He came down here so we can live. He came down here to die so we can live. What a wonderful God we have in Christ. And I want to tell you that Christ loves you. He has a plan for your life. I don't know who this message is going to. But we rebuke the spirit of suicide right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the spirit of depression in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the spirit of anxiety in the name of Jesus. God is greater. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Trust in God today. Man, I was a sinner for so many years, man, and I, and boy, when I learned to trust in God, ain't a better feeling, man. Ain't a better friend you can have, man. And I know people will let you down, family will let you down, friends will let you down, co-workers will let you down, but Jesus won't let you down. Amen. I tried so many things when I was a sinner, man. I thank God I ain't never tried you know, ain't never been on drugs. I ain't never been a drinker. But, man, I've done some horrible things, boy. And I'm glad I tried Jesus. And I'm telling you right now, you may have tried drugs. You Some people may be on drugs right now listening. You may be an alcoholic. You may be all these things that the devil say you are. But, man, try Jesus. Call out to the name of Jesus. He's a present help in time of trouble. Call out to him today. The devil is a liar. Call out to the name of the Lord today. Amen. You can, you, 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 some of y'all got to drop down on your knees and cry out to the Lord. All who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's what God say. Call out to the name of the Lord today. Call out to Jesus Christ and say, Lord, save me, Lord. Heal me, Lord. Deliver me from this. Amen. When you got to the point where you don't want no more, God will take it from you. Come on, somebody. Somebody hearing what I'm saying today. If you want to stop cussing, you want to stop fornicating, you want to stop uh, doing all of these things that you've been doing, going against God, God can give you the strength. Amen. He can strengthen you. The Bible said the Lord is our strength. He's our strength. We're not strong in ourselves. Some people, you know, and, and that's what's wrong. We, we try to think that we're strong and we're not strong outside of Christ. We're not. We can't bear every burden. We can try to be there for people, but we need a savior, don't we? We all break down. We need God. You can be as strong. You can have a bank account as from here to Africa. But we need a savior. We need the Lord. Give him your situation. The Bible says cast all your cares to him for he cares for you. I didn't know this was going to be a real long video. But I just want to let you know that somebody loves you. And it's not just somebody. He's the savior of the world. He's the God of all flesh, Jeremiah says. Jeremiah 32, 27 says, For I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Ain't nothing too hard for God. Nothing. And Satan knows that. That's why he try to keep you so occupied. That's why he try to keep people's minds on drugs and alcohol and on fornication. on Because on he knows once you go to Christ, Christ can deliver you from all of those things. He's the burden bearer. 
I hope to see y'all tonight, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. <clears throat> um, we got a we got a we got a powerful word once again. We're gonna be talking about the mindset. We gotta have a God wants us to have a mindset in these last days. Please come out tonight, six o'clock Central Standard Time, seven Eastern. God bless all of you. I love you all. And once again, I want to let everybody know that we are going live. All right, we are making videos. Please click the live button when you see when you click on Evangelist Michael Thomas and you see videos and playlists and all you have to click live in order to hear all of our sermons. We love the Lord here and we're going to continue to pray for you. Please continue to pray for us. If anybody ever need prayer or to reach us, y'all know all of our information is in the description box. I love y'all. God bless you and may the Lord Jesus Christ, may he be with us all in these final moments. Uh, see y'all tonight, saints. Have a good night.